The first step is to connect your smartphone to the Night Owl Wi-Fi system. To connect, make sure your master has power and then go into your smartphone's settings. From your Wi-Fi screen, you will see a network named Night Owl followed by a unique number. This name is shown on the master next to the status LED. Connect to this network. This is how your smartphone will communicate with your master and you will need to connect to this network anytime you want to control your system. Now you are ready to launch the app. Once launched, follow the instructions on the screen to go to the systems page. From here, enter a system name as well as a system key. The system name can be whatever name you choose to identify the system. The system key is unique to your Night Owl system and is located beneath the Wi-Fi name on your master. Once your system is added, the app will take you back to the configuration screen. From here, you can go into the systems menu and see that your system has been added. Your system name will also show in the top left along with a status indicator. Now you are ready to add a module. From the configuration screen, select the modules menu. Tap the plus icon in the top right. Follow the on-screen instructions to put your module into discovery mode, then press the discover button. If the module has been successfully added, you will see a new module on the module screen. Select the new module and type in a name. For the purpose of this demo, this module is running undercarriage lights, so we are naming it Under. As you can see, there are four devices, A, B, C, and D. Each device needs to be assigned to a channel. The channel is used to allow programs to change the color for this device. For the purposes of this demo, we are assigning device A to the first channel. You will need to provide a name for every channel. Name channels in a way that makes them easy to recognize when creating programs. We are naming this channel Front UC because the lights for this device are on the front of the undercarriage. Save this channel assignment and then continue to assign each of your devices to a channel. Here, device B is being assigned to left UC as it is connected to the lights on the left side of the undercarriage, and so on. Assign all of your devices to channels and name your channels based on your setup and what names make the most sense to you. Now return to the home page using the home page button in the bottom right of the screen. Press the plus button in the top right. You will now see a list of eight different program types. For this demo, we will add a solid color program. We need to now add channels to this program. To do that, press Channels. You will see a list of all of the channels you have created. To select all the channels, you can press the Select All button. If you want to clear your selection, you can press Select None. You can also individually select channels. When you have made your selection, press Done. To preview this program, you can press the play button at the bottom of the screen. You can also stop the preview with the same button. Let's go ahead and preview this program and modify the color. To do this, select the color option. From here, you can change the color from red to green or any other color. Notice that with preview, you can view the modifications to your program right away. You can either choose your color with the color wheel or choose an existing color with the color palette. If you want more fine-tuned adjustments, you can select the slider tab. You can move the sliders left and right to adjust the values. The brightness slider is used to adjust the overall brightness of the color. To save a color to the color palette, simply hold down on a slot you wish to save it to. This color will now be available from other color selectors. Let's save this color. Press the Save button in the top right. Now we're going to name the program. We will name this one Night Owl Solid Undercarriage. Tap Save. Now you will see that the program appears in the program list. You can stop and start the program using the button on the left. Let's add a more advanced program. Press the plus button again and then select Breathe. 
The Breathe program fades the brightness up and down on a specific color. As before, let's add channels and preview this program. To change the color of the program, select the color menu item. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to change it to a blue. Now let's adjust the effects. The Fade to Brightness slider adjusts how far the color dims. If you want to bring it down to zero, you will see that the LEDs fade down all the way. If you want to adjust how long the LEDs are at full brightness, adjust the on duration value. If you want to adjust the speed of the fade, adjust the fade duration value. When you are happy with your program, name it and save it. Now you see we have two programs. As before, we can run a program by selecting the play button to its left. You can stop and start programs from this screen. A default color is the color that your lights display when the module first powers up or when it can't find the master. To change it, go to your module screen and select the default color option under each device. You can change the color just as you did for a program. For this example, we're going to set it to white. The color will update live. If your device isn't changing color, press the All Default button on the lower toolbar. What is unique about the Night Owl system is that every device supports color correction. This allows you to adjust color of your LEDs to match other LEDs. To adjust color correction, set the two devices you want to match to full white and then go into the color correction setting. You will see that there are four sliders just like the sliders tab on the color selector. Adjust the colors that are too bright so they match the other colors. In our demo, the blue is too bright. Once you save it, this will be the color white that is used for this device. We hope this video has given you a jump start on how to use your new Night Owl system. For more information and how-to videos, visit nightowlleds.com.